doing? The casting process for the 1980 TV series Magnum P. I was a thorough and thoughtful one. Thomas Sullivan Magnum Roman IV, the private investigator, was played by Tom Selleck. Initially, the producers wanted Selleck's mustache shaved off, but they later decided to keep it, which became one of his most recognizable features. For the role of Higgins, the strict and uptight caretaker of the estate where Magnum resides, they chose John Hillerman. The chemistry between Selleck and Hillerman was evident from their first meeting, making them a perfect pair for the series. The character of Rick, a laid-back helicopter pilot and one of Magnum's closest friends, was portrayed by Larry Minetti. Minetti had previously worked with the show's producer, Donald P. Belisario, which helped him secure the role. The last member of Magnum's core group of friends was TC, another helicopter pilot, and the owner of a surf shop and charter helicopter business. Roger E. Mosley was cast in this role, bringing a sense of warmth and loyalty to the character. Lastly, the role of Magnum's deceased wife Michelle was given to Melissa Sue Anderson, although she only appeared in flashbacks and dream sequences. The casting directors were looking for someone who could convey the deep love and connection between Magnum and Michelle, and they found that in Anderson. Overall, the casting process for Magnum P. I was a careful one, with the producers looking for not just acting ability, but also chemistry and a certain je ne sais quoi that would make each character come alive on screen. Összeget, nem? Majd de ott tartottak a birtokon, de végül meghívtam. Ki tartana ott? Miről beszélsz? The directorial vision behind Magnum P. I was largely shaped by its co-creator and executive producer, Donald P. Belisario. Belisario aimed to create a dynamic and engaging television series that blended action, drama, and humor. He drew inspiration from his own military background and his love for classic detective stories. Belisario's directorial style was characterized by his attention to detail and his focus on character development. He worked closely with the cast and crew to ensure that each scene served a purpose and revealed something new about the characters. Belisario's collaborative approach helped to create a positive and productive working environment on set. One of Belisario's most significant contributions to Magnum P. I was his ability to balance the show's various elements. He seamlessly blended action sequences with moments of introspection and humor, creating a well-rounded and engaging viewing experience. Belisario's directorial vision was instrumental in establishing Magnum P.I. as a beloved and enduring television series. In addition to his work on Magnum P.I., Belisario also created and produced several other successful television shows, including Quantum Leap and NCIS. His contributions to the world of television have left a lasting impact and his work continues to be celebrated by audiences and industry professionals alike. Belisario's approach to directing was influenced by his belief in the power of collaboration. He understood that creating a successful television show required the contributions of many talented individuals, and he worked tirelessly to foster a positive and collaborative working environment. Belisario's ability to bring out the best in his cast and crew was a key factor in the success of Magnum P.I. and other television shows he created. Overall, the directorial vision behind Magnum P. I was shaped by Donald P. Belisario's unique blend of military experience, love for detective stories, and commitment to character development. His collaborative approach to directing and his ability to balance various elements helped to establish Magnum P. I. as a beloved and enduring television series. Magnum P.I. is a classic 1980s TV series that follows the adventures of Thomas Magnum, a private investigator living in Hawaii. The show is known for its action, drama, and a touch of humor. Throughout its run, Magnum P. I featured many unforgettable characters, including Magnum himself, played by Tom Selleck. Did you know that Magnum P.I. was almost canceled after its first season? or that Tom Selleck was not the first choice to play Magnum. There are many surprising facts about this beloved series that will make you laugh, gasp, and maybe even tear up. So, which character in Magnum P.I. is your favorite? Was it the charming and charismatic Magnum, the no-nonsense Higgins, or the loyal and resourceful Rick and TC? Each character brought something unique to the show, making it a rich and diverse tapestry of personalities. 
Personally, I always admired Magnum's determination and resourcefulness in solving cases, his ability to think outside the box, and his unwavering dedication to justice were truly inspiring. The show also had a significant impact on my life as it sparked my interest in criminal investigations and led me to pursue a career in law enforcement. What about you? Do you have a favorite memory or personal experience related to Magnum P.I.? Perhaps you watch the show with your family every week, or you were inspired by Magnum's sense of adventure and justice. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, stay tuned for some fun, shocking, and heartwarming facts about Magnum P.I. You won't want to miss it. The production of the 1980 TV series Magnum P. I took place in various locations, each presenting its own set of challenges. The show was primarily filmed in Hawaii, specifically on the island of Oahu. The main filming location was the Hawaiian Royal Palace, which was converted into the luxurious estate of Robin's Nest for the series. The set design was a crucial aspect of the production. Production designer Richard Yin had to create a balance between the show's fictional elements and the real-life locations. The team built the interior of Robin's Nest inside a soundstage, while the exterior shots were filmed on location. The set was designed to reflect the casual, laid-back lifestyle of Hawaii, with an open-air layout, rattan furniture, and tropical plants. The series also made use of innovative technologies, such as the Steadicam, which was a relatively new invention at the time. The Steadicam allowed the camera to move smoothly and steadily even while the camera operator was moving. This technology was particularly useful in capturing the show's action scenes and gave the series a cinematic feel. Logistical challenges were abundant during the production of Magnum P. I, the show's remote filming location in Hawaii meant that the production team had to transport all necessary equipment and personnel to the island. Additionally, the show's large cast and crew required careful coordination and planning to ensure that filming went smoothly. One of the most significant challenges was the unpredictable weather in Hawaii. The production team had to be prepared for sudden rainstorms or changes in lighting conditions, which could disrupt filming. To mitigate this challenge, the team had to be flexible and adaptable, often making last-minute changes to the shooting schedule. In summary, the production of Magnum PI involved careful planning, innovative technologies, and a dedicated team to overcome various challenges. The show's set design, filming locations, and logistical challenges all contributed to its unique and captivating visual style. <laughs> Magnum P.I. is a popular television series from the 1980s starring Tom Selleck as Thomas Magnum, a private investigator living in Hawaii. The show had a successful run for 10 years and it's still remembered for its quality storytelling and engaging characters. However, there are some aspects of the show that might not appeal to everyone. One issue some viewers might have is that Magnum often reads his dialogue which could be a result of the actor's approach to the role or a deliberate choice by the show's creators. Additionally, there is a lot of focus on the car and helicopter used in the series, which some might find excessive. The constant bickering between Magnum and his neighbor, Higgins, is another element that might not sit well with all viewers. Despite these minor flaws, Magnum P. I remains a standout series from its era. Tom Selleck's portrayal of Magnum is entertaining, and the show's post-Vietnam setting offers a unique twist on the classic private investigator trope. Compared to other shows of the time, such as the A-Team, Magnum P. I stands out for its higher production values and more nuanced storytelling. It's hard to believe that the same actor who played Magnum is now in his 60s. While Magnum P. I remains a beloved series. Some fans might argue that Selleck's best detective role came earlier in his guest appearances as Lance White on the Rockford Files. Although there were plans to develop a series around the character, it never came to fruition. Nevertheless, Magnum P.I.'s decade-long run on television is a testament to its enduring appeal and quality. In conclusion, Magnum P.I. is a classic television series with engaging characters and memorable storylines. While some aspects of the show might not appeal to everyone, its overall quality and impact on popular culture make it a must-watch for fans of 80s television. Be 
DC mondta el tegnap este, egyetértettem vele én is, és Mr. Masters is remek ötletnek tartja. The creation of the Magnum PI score and soundtrack was a collaborative effort between composer Mike Post and musicians Ian Freeburn Smith and Pete Carpenter. The music they created complemented the narrative and emotional tone of the show, which followed the adventures of Thomas Magnum, a private investigator living in Hawaii. Mike Post, who was already an experienced composer for television shows, brought his skills to Magnum P. I he aimed to create a score that would reflect the show's tropical setting and the personality of its main character. To achieve this, he incorporated elements of Hawaiian music, such as steel guitars and ukuleles, into the score. Ian Freeburn Smith and Pete Carpenter, who worked with Post on the show's soundtrack, added to the score's unique sound by incorporating elements of jazz and rock music. The result was a score that was both relaxing and exciting, reflecting the show's mix of action and leisure. The music in Magnum P. I served to enhance the narrative and emotional tone of the show. For example, the use of slow, melodic music during scenes of introspection or romantic encounters helped to create a sense of intimacy and emotion. On the other hand, fast-paced, upbeat music was used during action scenes to heighten the sense of excitement and tension. In addition to the score, the soundtrack also featured popular songs from the 1980s. These songs were carefully selected to complement the narrative and emotional tone of each episode. For example, in an episode where Magnum goes on a road trip, the soundtrack featured upbeat, road trip inspired songs. Overall, the music in Magnum P, I played a crucial role in creating the show's unique tone and atmosphere. The collaborative efforts of Mike Post, Ian Freeburn Smith, Pete Carpenter, and other musicians involved in the show's production helped to create a score and soundtrack that perfectly complemented the narrative and emotional tone of the show. Ha, ah, figyelj! Jimmy úgy sem adná meg a receptet. De azt hiszem, hogy siker. Tom Selleck is known for his portrayal of private investigators, having played Lance White in The Rockford Files, and Thomas Magnum in Magnum P.I. The latter show was originally set in California, but was moved to Hawaii due to CBS's desire to keep their production offices and sound stages open after Hawaii 5 ended. The show contains occasional references to Steve McGarrett and 5 but McGarrett is never shown. John Hillerman, who plays Higgins on Magnum P.I., developed his British accent by watching and listening to Lawrence Olivier's performances. One of the most iconic scenes in Magnum P.I. is from the pilot episode, where Thomas Magnum, played by Tom Selleck, drives his red Ferrari for the first time. The scene showcases the beauty of Hawaii, with a stunning sunset in the background and the sound of the Ferrari engine revving, adding to the excitement. Selleck's performance is perfect, with a wide grin on his face, expressing pure joy and freedom. The director, Glenn Larson, wanted to make an impactful entrance for Magnum's character, and the Ferrari was the perfect prop. The car became an iconic symbol of the show, and Selleck learned how to drive it himself, adding to the authenticity of the scene. Another memorable scene is from the episode Did You See the Sunrise, where Magnum and his friends go on a camping trip. The scene is shot in a serene location with tall trees and a clear sky. The group sits around a campfire, sharing stories and enjoying each other's company. The scene is a testament to the camaraderie between the characters and the laid-back vibe of the show. The director, Michael Vejar, used natural lighting and minimal props to create a cozy and intimate atmosphere. The actors' performances are genuine and heartfelt, making the audience feel like they are a part of the group. The impact of these scenes on the audience is significant. They not only showcase the beauty of Hawaii, but also the warmth and humor of the characters. The scenes are etched in the audience's memory, making Magnum P.I. a timeless classic. According to Tom Selleck, Magnum P. I was not just a show about a private investigator. It was a show about friendship, adventure, and the beauty of Hawaii. The Ferrari scene and the camping trip scene are perfect examples of that. The directors and actors of Magnum P. I created iconic scenes that resonate with the audience even today. The show's legacy is a testament to their talent and creativity. Udo Sándor és Fehér Tamás, szinkron rendező Kozma Mari, a szinkron 
Tom Selleck, known for his role in Magnum P.I., almost landed the part in The Terminator. However, his commitment to Magnum P. I led to Arnold Schwarzenegger getting the role. Before his breakthrough, Selleck had already starred in six unsuccessful television pilots. John Hillerman, who played a British character in Magnum P.I., was actually a native Texan. His British accent in the show was assumed rather than based on his own background. Mókás. Igazán érdekes, hogy valami, ami mások számára felfoghatatlanul bonyolult. Magnum Pi, a 1980s television series, had a significant cultural and social impact. The show's protagonist, Thomas Magnum, played by Tom Selleck, was a private investigator living in Hawaii. Magnum P.I. resonated with audiences due to its engaging storylines, stunning locations, and the charismatic performance of Selleck. The series was a popular representation of the detective genre on television and influenced pop culture in various ways. Magnum Pi's distinctive elements, such as Magnum's Aloha shirt and Detroit Tigers baseball cap, became fashion statements. The show also featured a red Ferrari 308 GTS, which became an iconic symbol of the series and further contributed to its popularity. Moreover, Magnum P.I. addressed relevant social and cultural themes. For instance, the show explored the complexities of military life, as Magnum was a Vietnam War veteran. It also portrayed diverse characters, including Magnum's Japanese friend and fellow veteran, TC, and the British Higgins, who managed the estate where Magnum lived. These characters added depth to the series and contributed to discussions on multiculturalism and the challenges faced by veterans. In summary, Magnum P.I. was a culturally and socially impactful television series that resonated with audiences through its engaging storylines, memorable characters, and iconic imagery. The show's exploration of social and cultural themes, such as multiculturalism and the experiences of veterans, further added to its significance and influence on pop culture. In the eighth and final season of Magnum P.I., lead actor Tom Selleck received a bonus of $350,000 which he generously shared with the cast and crew by gifting Rolex watches, Porsches, and 1,000 bonuses. Thomas Magnum's weapon of choice was a government model Colt 1911 A145 Cal, semi-automatic pistol, which he often carried in his waistband, Mexican style. The Colt 1911 A1 was the standard issue U.S. military pistol during the Vietnam War, suggesting that it was Magnum's personal sidearm from his Navy days. Initially, season seven was intended to be the final season, with Magnum on the verge of death. However, an eighth season was commissioned, and Magnum returned to life, albeit for a shorter season. Magnum P.I., the 1980 television series, received positive reviews from critics and audiences alike. The show was praised for its engaging storylines, attractive Hawaiian setting, and the charismatic performance of its lead actor, Tom Selleck. The New York Times, in its review, commended the show's light, amusing tone, and Selleck's engaging portrayal of Thomas Magnum, a private investigator living in Hawaii. The newspaper also appreciated the show's picturesque setting, noting that Hawaii is a character in itself. Audiences were drawn to the show's blend of action, drama, and comedy, the chemistry between Selleck and his co-stars, including John Hillerman, Roger E. Mosley, and Larry Minetti, was also a significant factor in the show's success. Magnum P. I received numerous award nominations during its run. The show was nominated for an Emmy Award for Outstanding Drama Series in 1982 and 1983. Tom Selleck was nominated for an Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series in 1982, 1983, and 1984, and he won the award in 1984. John Hillerman was also nominated for an Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series in 1982, 1983, and 1984, and he won the award in 1987. The show's accolades are a testament to the hard work and talent of everyone involved in its production. The Emmy nominations and wins are a mark of recognition from the industry and solidify the show's place in television history. The awards also serve as a reminder of the enduring appeal of Magnum P.I. 
and its ability to captivate audiences, even today. The in the popular 1980s television series, Magnum P.I., there were instances where secondary characters took the spotlight due to Tom Selleck's filming schedule conflicts. Specifically, in season four, some episodes focused mainly on these characters. One notable background actress, Shirley Rogers, appeared in a memorable scene during the opening title sequence known as the snorkel shot. This scene, from season two, episode 22, three minus two, shows Magnum teaching Rogers how to snorkel. Although Rogers wasn't credited for this appearance, she was credited for another role in season one, episode 15, don't say goodbye, and was visible in crowd shots in season one, episode 13, all roads lead to Floyd. Additionally, Magnum P. I is one of the rare shows where the main character, Thomas Magnum, directly addresses the audience. He does this when confronted with absurd situations, breaking the fourth wall, and creating a unique connection with viewers. During the filming of Magnum P.I., the relationship between stars Tom Selleck and John Hillerman was quite humorous. Hillerman, who played the uptight Higgins, often found himself the target of Selleck's practical jokes. Once, Selleck even filled Hillerman's trailer with hundreds of live chickens. The beautiful Ferrari 308 GTS QV driven by Selleck's character, Thomas Magnum, was a head turner. However, its upkeep was quite a challenge. The car's delicate paint job was easily scratched, and the show's tight budget meant that repairs were often delayed. As a result, Selleck often drove around with minor scratches and dings on the car. The Hawaiian setting provided many challenges for the crew, including unpredictable weather and difficult terrain. The show's iconic opening sequence, featuring Magnum driving along the beach, was particularly challenging to film. The sand was often too soft for the car to drive on, and the crew had to work early in the morning before the tide came in. Despite these challenges, the cast and crew of Magnum P. I formed a close-knit community. Many of the actors became good friends and even vacationed together during filming breaks. The show's warm, familial atmosphere was reflected in the final product, making Magnum P.I. a beloved classic. In the third season of Magnum P.I., a model of the bridge built by British POWs during World War II, as depicted in the bridge on the River Kwai, appeared in Higgins' study. This was no mere prop but a personal reminder of Higgins' past, as he was one of the POWs who helped build the bridge. The model bridge was damaged several times throughout the series. Tom Selleck, the leading actor, faced a tough decision between the role of Indiana Jones in Raiders of the Lost Ark and Magnum P.I. after consulting his best friend. Selleck chose to honor his contract with Magnum P.I. Interestingly, the shooting of the Magnum P.I. pilot was delayed, which would have allowed Selleck to play Indiana Jones. Coincidentally, while waiting in Hawaii for Magnum P.I. to start filming, Steven Spielberg and George Lucas were in Hawaii shooting scenes for Raiders of the Lost Ark. Larry Minetti, a cast member, wrote a book titled Aloha Magnum that provides a behind-the-scenes look at the making of Magnum P.I. John. Magnum P.I., the 1980s television series, holds a significant place in film history. Its unique blend of action, drama, and comedy set it apart from other shows of the time, making it a trailblazer in the industry. The series is known for its iconic characters, led by Thomas Magnum, a private investigator living in Hawaii, played by Tom Selleck. The show's impact on future filmmaking is evident in the way it popularized the use of flashbacks, voiceovers, and a non-linear narrative style. This storytelling technique has since been adopted by many successful TV series and films. Additionally, Magnum Pie's use of a picturesque, tropical location as a backdrop has inspired other productions to follow suit, showcasing diverse settings and cultures. Magnum P.I. has also inspired numerous subsequent works, including television series and films. For instance, the popular series Hawaii 50 and Magnum P. I both pay homage to the original series by featuring crossover episodes in similar settings. 
Furthermore, the character of Thomas Magnum has become a cultural icon, influencing various other fictional detectives and private investigators in popular media. In summary, Magnum P.I. has left a lasting legacy and influence on film history and future filmmaking. Its innovative storytelling techniques and iconic characters have inspired many subsequent works, solidifying its place as a classic in the world of television. Thomas Sullivan Magnum Roman IV, the main character of Magnum P.I., is a Vietnam War veteran, which was a contentious topic during the show's debut in 1980. Magnum, along with characters T.C. and Rick, were some of the first positive portrayals of Vietnam veterans on network television. Before starring in Magnum P.I., both Tom Selleck and Roger E. Mosley appeared in the film Terminal Island. Lastly, Higgins, a recurring character on the show, has the full name Jonathan Keel Higgins, Roman III. Nos, nekem nyugodtan elmondhatod. In the opening title sequence of Magnum P.I., the Ferrari's license plate reads 56E478, not Robin 1. Tom Selleck, the show's lead, had both of his wives, Jacqueline Ray and Jilly Mack, appear on the series. Selleck's parents, Martha and Bob, and his adoptive son, Kevin, also made brief appearances. A photo of Selleck's parents was later placed on Magnum's bedside table. In Season 2, Episode 15, Try to Remember, Magnum reveals he was born in Virginia on August 8, 1944. Thomas Sullivan Magnum Roman IV, the character played by Tom Selleck in the TV series Magnum P.I., was initially written as a suave and perfect character, but Selleck wanted a change. He suggested making Magnum more relatable and laid back, similar to James Garner's character in The Rockford Files. The writers and producers were hesitant, but Selleck's threat to do Raiders of the Lost Ark led them to agree. The pilot for Magnum P. I was likely written in the early 1970s, as evidenced by various references in the script. The character of Higgins, played by John Hillerman, was English and served in World War II, while Hillerman himself was a native Texan who was a child during the war. Selleck's portrayal of Magnum as a relatable and charming jock character became iconic and helped bring in a large male viewership. The show's writers and producers initially resisted this change, but Selleck's persistence led to the creation of the beloved character that fans know and love today. Over the course of Magnum P.I., despite a growing bond, Thomas Magnum and Julia Higgins continued to address each other by their last names. The Anderson estate, used as the exterior for Robin's Nest in Waymanalo, Hawaii, was demolished in 2018 due to its deteriorated condition and high restoration costs. A season 7 episode set in Hong Kong was planned, but cancelled, with season 7's first two episodes, LA, filmed in Los Angeles instead. The only other location shoot outside Hawaii was season 6's Deja Vu, filmed in London and the surrounding countryside. John Hillerman, known for his clipped English accent as Jonathan Higgins in Magnum P.I., had a surprising Texan drawl in real life. His character appeared in not only Magnum P.I., but also Simon and Simon and Murder, she wrote. In Magnum P.I., Thomas Magnum, played by Tom Selleck, is a Navy SEAL. His uniform displays the Navy Cross and Naval Special Warfare insignia indicating he earned the nation's second highest award for naval personnel. This adds depth to Magnum's character, showcasing his military background. In the popular 1980 TV series, Magnum P.I., a recurring character with the most appearances was Agatha Chumley, played by Julian Dobb. Interestingly, Dobb had no professional acting experience outside of this show, except for her involvement in Honolulu Community Theater. Larry Minetti, known for his role as Rick Wright in the series, is another notable figure. His performance in Magnum P. I remains one of his most recognized works by the public. Tom Selleck, 
who played the lead role in Magnum P.I., declined an offer to make a cameo appearance in the Magnum P.E.I. movie. This decision might have been influenced by his desire to distance himself from the character he played for several years. Overall, Magnum P.I. provided a platform for these actors to showcase their talents and left an indelible mark in television history. In the hit 1980s TV series, Magnum P.I., the character Higgins had two Dobermans named Zeus and Apollo, referred to as the lads, that were initially intended to be written out of the show to cut costs. However, actors Tom Selleck and John Hillerman intervened, and the dogs remained for the entire series. Interestingly, despite Hillerman's English accent as Higgins, he was actually from Texas. The show's original setting was supposed to be in Southern California, but it ultimately took place in Hawaii. These details add depth to the series and showcase the importance of the actor's input in shaping the final product. Ez a legmegalapozatlanabb és leghihetetlenebb állítás, amit hallottam. Rikket felbevágták. Mi a mentség? Nincs meg! After the end of Magnum P.I. in 1980, Universal Pictures considered making a movie with the original cast, but the idea was eventually dropped. The estate used for Robin's Nest in the show was listed for sale in 2014 for $15.75 million, but it sold for $8.7 million in 2015. All the buildings on the estate were demolished in April 2018. Actor Tom Selleck, who played the lead role in Magnum P.I., was approached to star in Victor Victoria in 1982 and Raiders of the Lost Ark in 1981, but turned both roles down due to his Magnum P.I. contract. Ezt neveztük finom vonal applikációnak. Azt mondod, hamis? Úgy van. Na, az eredeti képen bor... Thomas Sullivan Magnum Roman IV, the main character of Magnum P.I., was a lieutenant in the U.S. Navy before resigning in 1979. He hailed from the Tidewater region of Virginia and was recalled to service with the rank of commander in Season 2 and briefly in Season 6. Magnum's father and grandfather, both naval officers, appeared in the series, with the latter making an appearance in the season 8 finale. A quasi-reunion of the Magnum P. A cast took place on Las Vegas in 2010, featuring Tom Selleck, Roger E. Mosley, and Larry Minetti. John Hillerman did not appear due to his retirement in 1996. Tom Selleck, who played Magnum, met Larry Minetti who co-starred as Rick Wright on Magnum P.I. on the same episode of The Rockford Files in 1974, a year before Minetti joined him on Magnum P.I. Tom Selleck and John Hillerman, the two lead actors in Magnum P.I., both received Emmy and Golden Globe Awards for their portrayals of Thomas Sullivan Magnum Roman IV and Jonathan Keel Higgins Roman III, respectively. Selleck's acting career took off with Magnum P.I. after starting as a male model. Interestingly, the episodes featuring a visiting St. Louis detective named Luther H. Gillis were actually attempts to promote a new television series based on the character, but they were unsuccessful. These attempts were not integrated well into the show's narrative, and did not resonate with the audience. Overall, Magnum P. I was a significant show in television history, and the accomplishments of its lead actors are a testament to its success. Roger E. Mosley is a burly character actor, best known for his role as Tom Selleck's friend on the TV series Magnum P.I., which aired in 1980. Mosley's character, T.C., has the initials Theodore Calvin. In the series, Thomas Magnum, the main character, has a preference for old Dusseldorf beer and long neck bottles. This detail adds a touch of realism to the character and makes him more relatable to the audience. The use of T.C.'s full name, Theodore Calvin, gives depth to the character and provides insight into his background. It also creates a distinction between T.C. and Magnum making them unique individuals with their own stories. Overall, these details from Magnum P. I contribute to the richness of the series and help to create memorable characters that audiences can connect with.
John Hillerman, who played Higgins, wore a hairpiece from the third season and had his character born around 1920. In contrast, Hillerman was actually born in 1932, making him only six years older than Roger E. Mosley, who played TC, and nine years older than Larry Minetti, who played Rick. Despite the age gaps between Selleck, Mosley, and Minetti, their characters were all the same age. In season 7, it was revealed that Magnum, TC, and Rick were all baby boomers, born in 1946, 1938, and 1946, respectively. Many recurring cast members, including Jillian Dobb, Kathleen Lloyd, Jeff McKay, Lance Lee Galt, and Alicia Cook, Jr., appeared as different characters throughout the show's run. Tom Selleck's mustache was also trimmed at the edges from about season 7. These small details add to the richness of the show, making it a beloved classic among fans. Tom Selleck, the star of Magnum P.I., was initially cast as Indiana Jones, but couldn't accept the role due to his commitment to Magnum P.I. in an interesting turn of events. Magnum did an episode that parodied Raiders, complete with a hat, whip, and booby traps. Before Magnum P.I., Selleck had already appeared in six unsuccessful pilots for proposed shows. Despite this, he was not the producer's first choice for the lead role in Magnum P. I. Kevin Dobson was offered the role, which he turned down, ultimately leading to Selleck's casting. Thomas Magnum, the main character of the TV series, wore a Detroit Tigers cap and a U.S. Navy ball cap representing BMO-2, a unit based at Da Nang Air Base in Vietnam during the war. Magnum resigned from the Navy in 1979 after 12 years of service, turning 33 without ever being 23. He then became a private investigator and moved into the guest house at Robin's Nest, serving as a security consultant at the estate. Magnum was a Navy SEAL in the Vietnam War and later served in naval intelligence. He lost his younger half-brother in the war and believed he had lost his wife, Michelle, who made a few appearances on the show. Tom Selleck, the actor who played Magnum, is a big Detroit Tigers fan and the show featured several references to the team. When the Tigers won the World Series in 1984, CBS planned to film an episode in Detroit, but ultimately, only two Tigers players made cameos in the show. Magnum's birthday is conflictingly dated, but if he was 33 in 1979, he was likely born in 1946. Magnum P.I., a popular television series from the 1980s out, was a dominant force in primetime viewing on Thursday nights until the arrival of The Cosby Show. The series featured Thomas Magnum, a private investigator living in Hawaii, who often found himself in misadventures that brought trouble to the Robin Masters estate. Jonathan Higgins, the estate's strict caretaker, was a former British Army officer who had served in World War II. When Magnum's antics caused chaos on the estate, Higgins would arm himself with a British Webley MK Roman 6455 caliber revolver. This weapon was a standard military issue in both world wars, suggesting that it was Higgins' personal sidearm from his time in the army. Magnum P. I was also spoofed in Mad Magazine, appearing as Magnum P.U. The show's popularity and cultural impact were significant, leaving a lasting impression on viewers and influencing popular culture. Lieutenant Mac McReynolds, played by John Hillerman, was written off in the third season of Magnum P. I as actor Hillerman was cast in Tales of the Gold Monkey. When that show ended after one season, Hillerman requested to return to Magnum P.I., leading to his character's return in season 5 as Jim Bonnick, a con man who looked like Mac. Hillerman also appeared as Mac's ghost in certain episodes. Tom Selleck gained fame for his portrayal of the title character in Magnum P.I., which aired from 1980 to 1988. TC, played by Hillerman, operated a charter service called Island Hopper, which used a Hughes 500 helicopter. Throughout the series, both D-Series and C-Series variants of the Hughes 6 KUs were utilized for TC's helicopter. In 
in the casting of Magnum P.I. Kevin Dobson was initially considered for the lead role, but turned it down, leading to Tom Selleck's eventual casting. Larry Minetti, a regular cast member, was the only one without a mustache, except for a brief appearance in season four with a pencil mustache during a Humphrey Bogart phase. Notable actor Alicia Kukjinar, known for playing lightweight heavies and losers, ended his career on the show as a connected underworld boss, Ice Pick. His long and successful career showcased his ability to play a variety of roles. Magnum P.I., a detective series that aired from 1980, is recognized as the number one detective show by the Sleuth Television Network. The series' lead actor, Tom Selleck, had previously secured a recurring role on The Rockford Files. Initially, producers had planned to feature James Garner as Jim Rockford, but rights issues prevented this. Before Magnum P.I., Glenn A. Larson, the show's developer, attempted to create the series for ABC. However, after the network canceled his shows Battlestar Galactica and the Hardy Boys since he drew mysteries in 1979, he brought the proposed series to CBS. <laughs> Gerald McCraney, known for his role in Simon and Simon, initially auditioned for a part in the pilot episode of Magnum P.I. He later made an appearance in a crossover episode as his Simon and Simon character, and also played General Patton alongside Tom Selleck's General Eisenhower in I Countdown to D-Day. Despite being a certified helicopter pilot, Roger E. Mosley, who played helicopter pilot Theodore T.C. Calvin in Magnum P.I., was not permitted to perform his own stunts during filming. Tom Selleck, who starred as Thomas Magnum in the series, and Mike Post, the show's musical composer, were high school classmates at Grant High School in Van Nuys, California. Forty-one five hundred five Kalinino Highway, Waimanalo, Hawaii, ninety sixteen seven and ninety five is the real estate address used as the Robin Masters estate in the 1980 TV series Magnum P.I. The original theme by Ian Freeburn Smith was used for only 11 episodes before being replaced by the iconic theme by Mike Post and Pete Carpenter, which had minor reworkings for seasons 2 and 3. Roger E. Mosley, who played TC, was a licensed helicopter pilot, but he wasn't allowed to do the stunts. Instead, the pilot crew would hide behind him for face shots while performing the stunts. This makes him much sehova. Ez a hely épp olyan jó, mint a többi. Ha enni akar, üljön egy asztalhoz kávét. During the filming of Magnum P.I., Robert Pine, who played Magnum's father in flashbacks, and Tom Selleck's real-life father, Bob Selleck, both shared a common alma mater Ohio Westland University. After the series, John Hillerman, who played Higgins, appeared in a series of ads for Mauna Loa Macadamia Nuts, essentially reprising his role. Tom Selleck was initially considered for the role of Indiana Jones in Raiders of the Lost Ark, but due to his commitment to Magnum P.I., he couldn't take up the part. This led to him missing out on a chance to become a big screen star, despite achieving stardom through the series. In the hit 1980 TV series, Magnum P.I., T.C. had a unique nickname for Jonathan Keel Higgins Roman III, calling him Higgy Baby. He was the only main cast member to use Higgins' first name. Higgins, played by John Hillerman, had several illegitimate siblings, including Elmo, Patty, and Don Lewis, all with the same father but different mothers. Interestingly, Hillerman portrayed each of these characters in dual roles, with contrasting personalities to Higgins. Moving on to the canine characters, Zeus and Apollo were played by multiple Doberman Pinschers, both male and female, provided by professional dog handlers. Despite being male, some female Dobermans were used to portray the duo, adding to the intrigue of these fascinating characters. In the popular 1980s TV series, Magnum P.I., the main character, Magnum, underwent a change in his military insignia. He switched from wearing a surface warfare pin to a Navy SCAL, trident as the series progressed. Robin Masters, a recurring character, was voiced by Orson Welles, but his face was never shown. 
Producers had plans to reveal Wells as Masters, but he passed away before the series ended. Magnum started speculating that Higgins was Masters in Season 7, and the real Masters was finally unveiled in the final episode. Throughout the series, Higgins never directly referred to Magnum by his first name, Thomas. A srácok általában megérzik, hogy bajban vagyok is akkor. Thomas Sullivan Magnum, the main character of the 1980 TV series Magnum PI, was born on August 8, 1945. The theme song of the show gained significant popularity and was even adapted as a pop music single receiving extensive radio airplay, and peaking at number 24 on the top 40 charts. Interestingly, Magnum had the unique distinction of being punched at least once by each of his friends Higgins, Rick, and TC, however, it's worth noting that Magnum never struck any of them in return. This dynamic added an intriguing layer to the relationships between the main characters, making the show even more engaging for its viewers. Még a magas rangú életmentők sem furikáznak. <laughs> Tom Selleck is known for his military roles on television, with characters such as Thomas Magnum from Magnum P, I being a former Navy SEAL, AJ Cooper from Las Vegas being a former Marine, and NYPD Commissioner Francis Frank Reagan from Blue Bloods also having a Marine background. The series Magnum P, I had crossover episodes with Simon and Simon, and Murder, she wrote, with planned crossovers with The Equalizer, and Quantum Leap never coming to fruition. Interestingly, Selleck played the same character, Thomas Magnum, on all three of these series. Magnum Peak, I was a significant show in television history, not only for its crossover episodes, but also for Selleck's memorable portrayal of Thomas Magnum, which resonated with audiences and left a lasting impact. The series' enduring popularity is a testament to its quality and appeal. The in the 1980s television series Magnum P.I., the character of Thomas Magnum, played by Tom Selleck, was frequently shown engaging in various sports and physical activities. Magnum tried out as a quarterback for a professional football team, competed in a triathlon, raced in a surf ski contest, played in a pro and tennis match, and participated in a two-man volleyball tournament. He also played shortstop for Robin Master's co-ed softball team and casually joined a pickup basketball game. In addition, the firearm used by Magnum, a 1911 45 Cal, was often replaced with a 9mm version during filming to use cheaper blanks. The vehicles driven by the characters in the series included Magnum's Ferrari 308 GTS, Higgins Audi 5000, and a GMC Jimmy or Jeep Cherokee XJ. Overall, Magnum P. I featured a lead character who was physically fit and engaged in various sports, used a firearm that was sometimes replaced with a different model for practical reasons, and drove a distinctive Ferrari sports car, while other characters drove different vehicles. In the pilot episode of Magnum P.I., Rick, played by Larry Minetti, owned a club called Rick's Cafe Americaine and modeled his character after Humphrey Bogart. However, after the pilot, the cafe closed, and Rick became manager of the King Came Ama Club, where Magnum and his friends frequently met. Interestingly, DC, another main character played by Roger E. Mosley, was a Tito Taylor, yet the opening credits showed him raising a bottle of beer for many seasons. The design of the team ring worn by Magnum, DC, and Rick was inspired by the Cross of Lorraine, a French resistance symbol, reflecting Vietnam's history as a French colony. Tom Selleck is the only actor to appear in every episode of Magnum P.I., a popular television series that aired from 1980 to 1988. Set in Hawaii, the show follows Thomas Magnum, a private investigator who lives a laid-back life, solving cases while enjoying the beautiful island scenery. Selleck's portrayal of Magnum, with his mustache and Hawaiian shirts, became iconic and contributed to his enduring fame. The series is also known for its memorable theme music and the distinctive Ferrari 308 GTS Quattrovolvo driven by Magnum. You see Meshit? Nem lehet. Marhajo. Teljesen tiszta az egész.
in the popular 1980 TV series Magnum P.I., actor John Hillerman, who played the character Jonathan Keel Higgins Roman III, had a tragic past. Before his acting career, he served in the U.S. Army during the Korean War. Sadly, he was wounded in combat and lost a portion of his right index finger. Despite this injury, Hillerman became a successful actor and was even nominated for four Emmy Awards for his role in Magnum P.I. His character's love for order and discipline contrasted sharply with Tom Selleck's laid-back and carefree personality, creating a compelling dynamic on screen. If you have fond memories of watching Magnum P.I. when it first aired, we'd love to hear from you. Share your experiences and stories about how this classic 1980s TV series impacted you personally. Whether you were inspired by the thrilling investigations, captivated by the beautiful Hawaiian scenery, or simply enjoyed the lighthearted humor and camaraderie between the characters, we want to know. Did Magnum P. I influence your perspective on cinema or shape your taste in television? Perhaps you were struck by the show's nuanced portrayal of complex issues or the compelling performances of its talented cast. Whatever your thoughts, we encourage you to share them with us and with fellow fans. If you're new to the world of Magnum P.I., why not take this opportunity to explore this beloved series for yourself? With its timeless themes and enduring appeal, Magnum P.I. has something to offer viewers of all ages. We invite you to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more explorations of classic television and cinema. Let's keep the conversation going and celebrate the enduring legacy of Magnum P.I. together. Néhány arapás után is el tudja majd önteni. Nézzék, hogy iszik a nyíket!